to meet Jesus to heal us. Our Jesus is the healer. By his wounds we are healed. We pray that the healing power of God will locate somebody here. Yeah. And we pray for all those who are praying with us online that the healing power of God will locate them wherever they are. Yeah. And all those who are sick of one disease or the other that the power of the most high God will come down upon them and break the yoke of that sickness. Yeah. And they will be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. For us to be worthy to receive these blessings, we call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Your mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that our infirmities be born by your only begotten Son, to show the value of human suffering. Listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Son of man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia.
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born anew. The wind blows where it wheezes, and you will hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can this be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand this? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things, and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just remain standing. Let us worship God for a moment. It is good to worship God. Begin to wave your hands to Jesus. Appreciate him for keeping us alive. Appreciate him for blessing us. Appreciate him for being there for us. Begin to worship him and exalt his holy name. Begin to exalt him. Open your mouth and begin to thank him for your life. For many things he has done for you. For many things he has done for your family. Even without you knowing. For his protection, for his guidance, for his deliverance, for restoration, for the opening of our eyes. For all that he has been doing for you and I. For the spirit of discovery. For the spirit of greatness. Begin to worship him. Begin to thank him. Father Lord, I thank you with all my heart. For all the blessings you have been giving to me. For your goodness in my life. For your kindness in my soul. I give you praise and I worship you today. Thank you for the resurrection power. I will enter... His gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter His cause with praise. I will say, This is the day that the Lord has made. He has made me glad. 
has made me glad. He has made me glad. He set me free. I am so glad. He died to set you free. I will rejoice for you. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in Him. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. Heavenly Fathers, open our eyes. Open our minds. Help us to grow in wisdom. Infuse wisdom into our lives. Teach us the way to live. For we are living in a wicked world. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Let's give Jesus Christ a clap often as we take our seat. Every day of my life, I keep learning. You must keep learning. Tell your neighbor, you must keep learning. Don't stop learning. Keep learning. Be a learner. Never you. In your life. Stop learning. Amen. We are living in a world that is becoming more complex. So I want to share with you a deep revelation that will help you from this altar of the Lumen Christi family. 
The Lord said, I should tell somebody something. Those of you online, those who are with us here, the Lord said, I should tell you something. And what the Lord says, I should tell you, we help you. You can never come to the presence of God without God blessing you. The Lord said, I should give you an information. That the devil will not want you to know about. The Lord said I should tell you. That they are studying you. You are like a book. People are reading you the way they read novel. A lot of people are studying you without you knowing. We are all being studied. Be very careful. There is power in the eyes. All those who have set their eyes on you, they are studying you. Many of us are not where we are supposed to be because they have studied us and from what they have gotten about us, they have used it against us. And also, some have studied you and have even blessed you. Now listen to me. It is difficult to handle what you don't know about. It is difficult. It is difficult to handle what you don't know about. It is difficult for arm robbers to enter a compound, a, a, a bank, factory that they don't know about. Am I talking to somebody? You see, part of what I want to share with you, the Lord has given to me many years ago. And I must confess to you, it is part of the reason why I am still existing. It's part of the reason why I could still feel that to God, thank you. That was why I sang that song. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Not because he gave me biscuits, he gave me car, he gave me wife, he gave me bakery and akara. It's simply because I was telling somebody this morning that if not for what God has taught me, by this time, Reverend Father Mario David Dibier would have been forgotten. So I want to share with you some of those secrets. Treasures that has made me what I am these 22 years as a priest. They are studying you. I'm telling you the truth. Never you look down on yourself. They are studying you. If only you have known this before, you would have been guided by this knowledge. It is difficult to handle what you do not know. So for you to be handled, they study you. If you do not know how to handle a thing, you may end up suffering unnecessarily. If you do not know how to handle a thing, you are posing danger to your life. So that is why people study. People study. Just as people learn for positive impartation, some are learning for evil. So, a lot of people are studying you because maybe they want to bless you. They study you so that they will know whether they can do this thing for you. So, that is what they call the positive side of it. But there are some people who are studying you to make sure that they perpetuate negativity in your life. So, it is not a matter of saying, uh, Father Libra, what do you mean? Are you seeing devil, devil, devil everywhere? No. Good people are studying you. Bad people are studying you. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. Please tell your neighbor they are studying you. Good people are studying you. Bad people are studying you. Either for good or for evil. Now if you are aware that they are studying you either for good or for evil and you don't even know 
Which is which? What are you supposed to do? What kind of life are you supposed to be living? What kind of movement are you supposed to be making? Now you know that you are being studied. Being studied. That is why <laughs> a lot of people, devil has used one principle to, to tell people to live with that by telling them to become pretenders. You can never go out of this. No, you cannot win. This study is a spiritual one. It's a deeper one. Why some people are admiring you? Why people are praising you at your big success? It is good for you to acknowledge this reality. Keep this at the back of your mind that you have been studied. Let it be in your spirit that your spiritual father has said to you that you have been studied. The question is where? They are studying you everywhere. Everywhere. Let me give you two examples of the negative side and the positive side. Moses sent 12 spies to go and study the promised land. That, that is positive. He said them, this land that God wants to give us I mean, go, no, no, go check them. Go and spy. The act of spying is studying. Go and spy. Moses sent them in the name of God that they should go and spy. Go and study the land. Go and check how it looks like. Go and look at how that woman behaves. This woman, this man, this boy, this girl. Go and check the kind of person this person is. Go and check. So they went. And they came back and they were giving different kind of stories. They say, Oh, the land is beautiful. Ah, the apple in that place. Mm -hmm. The people there are like giants. The grape there was, ooh, the land is fertile because Moses sent them to go and study. A lot of people have sent people into your life to study you. And that is why you are where you are today without you knowing that while you were eating and drinking and playing with people, they were digging deep. You are the peripheral. They were digging deep. They are studying you. They are digging deep. They want to know what you carry. The grace you have. The vision you have. But you are just there. Just flexing. Not knowing that they are on deep assignment. When those 12 spies entered the promised land, the people that saw them never knew that they came to study the land. Let's go to the negative. When Delilah was paid to go into the life of Samson, Delilah entered Samson's life to know something about something. There are people that want to know something about you. They are surprised the way you are shining. They have looked at you and wonder what is the source of your strength? How come this boy is so good? How come this woman is excelling without the husband? Who is the man behind her life? And the, 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 the people who are checking this now, those you call sisters, fellow brothers, sisters, my colleagues, my neighbor, and my best friend, with the work for a colleague, they are digging deep. But if you can say amen, all those who are coming with negative intention, they shall fail. They shall fail. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disappointed. If you believe, stand up and shout the man with anger. When you hear stories of they kidnapped this woman, they kidnapped that man, they, watch out. They have studied them. 
They have studied them. Few days ago, they came to say, Luku Bank here and mesmerized the whole town. They have studied us. <laughs> they have studied us. And you know the worst of all? You don't even know who is studying you. Even as I'm here now, somebody may be sitting down there to study for the Adivia. When you have to join you. I'm telling you, you think that, oh, all those who gather during your wedding ceremony are celebrating you. You think all those who come to see when you are opening your new shop, your plaza, they are happy. They are looking at you and wondering who is the man sponsoring this girl. They are reading you because they know that you don't have a husband. They are reading you because they know that your husband is poor. So they see you cruising on a very big car. They, are, they, they will become your friends. They will say, no, I'm available. I go as close to you go. I go follow you go. And you are happy that you have a companion, not knowing that you have a spy. There is a spy. If there is any spy that is in your life today, may God disgrace all of them. But you know what? We cannot stop them. It is a lifestyle. That is why I'm giving you this message. Because me, right from my mama, who when God opened my eye, I know. That make me they live my life as they live and so. I they fear everybody. I they fear. If you come into my life, I go say, hey, what? Oh, yeah, care about. Because I have this knowledge. It affects you when you are ignorant of this knowledge. No matter, somebody may come now. The first time you met the person, oh, you say, vroom. He says, he's dangerous. He may want to, he's opening the door. Hmm? I hear you. Come, my, my friend, come. I saw the way you were operating since I said you are in high in spirit. They never kill you. They are coming and kill you. They don't feel kill you. Okay, how are you? What's your name? Oh, hi, it's your mother. Well, just a handsome boy. The grace of God is upon you. Where, 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 where are you from? From here to here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, yes. Uh, where is, is your mommy here? Your mommy traveled. So how you feel? I hope you are fine. I'm oh, fine. Okay, but you are fine. Are you sure you are fine? They say you are mad. They said you are mad. Don't mind what they said. Yeah, don't mind what they say. As you hear your madness. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Yeah. Okay, come. Like I need down. Let me pray for you. Just relax, okay? Fold your hand. Relax. As you have faith, I will pray for you. It's Jesus that he's madness or mental problem and anything. Are you in Jesus? But you are such a handsome boy. You are a carrier of grace. Oh, Ike Madoka, Karike Joko. Oh, Rombe Ike Jomoka, Karike Joko.
thank you because you created me and endowed me with the gift in which I am operating. I give you all the glory, I give you all the praise for what you have been doing through me, unworthy as I am. It is your way that I am what I am today, and you have continually glorified your name. Behold this your son, who is behaving in a very abnormal way, and has come to be healed. I beg you, hear my voice this day. Show mercy to this child. I look at him, he's so young, elegant, handsome. I know you created him for a purpose. He has introduced himself to me and I can trace the family he came from. Father, I beg you, whatever you have not planted in this body, lying on this altar, take it out in Jesus' name. Demonstrate your power. That power that broke the grave. Nothing can be an obstacle. Father, show him mercy. Show the family mercy. Whatever he may have taken that has disorganized his body, his brain, Father, let the power and the effect of that thing disappear now. I speak restoration of mind, restoration of body, restoration of spirits. May you be well. People around you will be surprised to see you well. May your spirit be under the control of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> May the evil spirit never take absolute control of your life again. And you unclean spirit, I join you, I bind you, and I cast you out forever. That this child will be set free. Through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So let's come back to our topic. My son, you are blessed. Okay, go and sit down, okay? Job. <laughs> Thank you. Clap for him. Clap for him for that. I don't Destinies are spied. And when destiny are spied, you don't know why they are spied. You see, I get disappointed when I look at the history of my life or the story of my life and my ministry, those I've come in contact with, that in one way or the other, because of the revelations that God has given me and the insight, they, they, they commonize revelations. Unfortunately, maybe because I use normal knowledge to express some deep revelations. And sometimes it is argued over. Okay, my son. I'm honoring you today, sincerely. You want to give me... Uh, okay. Don't worry. This class for you has given me 15 naira. I have seen that now. Yeah, not in no chair. You know, God, sit on his chair and listen to me. After program, you come to me, I will give you, I will pay you back. Because the more this money is with me, the more it's having interest. They are spying you. Please tell your neighbor they are spying you. They are spying you. Now, it is good to make good impression. It is good to decide the kind of life you want to live. It is good to build up good character because they are watching us. It is good to manage our closeness. It is good to manage situations around us. My message is just as short as this. I will not be talking too much because I don't want to overemphasize it. But the Lord said I should tell you, watch yourself very well. That's why the Bible says, watch and pray. They are spying you. They are watching. Delilah came into the life of Samson and behaved to be a lover. But she was busy studying Samson. 
studying something, reading about something. And you know what? She read and failed. She read and failed. Many of them have been failed. That's why we are still alive. If you can stand up and say amen, they will continue to fail. <laughs> I said they will continue to fail. 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 In the name of Jesus. Because Delilah failed. I don't know who is spying you, but they will fail. Whether they like it or not. But unfortunately, Samson was ignorant of this teaching. Many great men of God and women of God were ignorant of what you are hearing now. But I thank God because he has taught me this thing years ago. When our forefathers say, we back came with no faith before back came Mado. That is the revelation. When our forefathers will say, it is the revelation. When you observe that this person seems to be having an agenda my dear, don't waste time to obey what the Bible says. When the right hand is causing you to sin, cut it off. Many of us keep attaching ourselves, attaching ourselves, attaching ourselves. We are afraid of losing social tie. We are afraid of losing this, my friend. No way. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me, and it has helped me in my life. Oh, it has. I keep loving God because he, he is just teaching me. Hear what the Lord taught me. That many people grow fat with people's problems. Huh? I said, God, what do you mean? He said, people grow fat with people's problems. So, when I have a problem and I see you around me, I will ask myself, is this problem making this woman fat? <laughs> is my problem making this man fat? What am I talking about? There are people who are celebrating your problem. There are people who are rejoicing over your problem. But they will come as if they are helpers. They will come as if, as if they care. But the more you are having problem, the more they are enriching themselves. The more you have problem, the more you become their slave. The more they use you. The more you become their handbag. Because if you want to come out from that problem, they will lose you. They don't want to lose you. Wisdom. Wisdom of life. Two days ago, the Lord opened my eyes again and said to me, my son, watch. And I watched and I saw and I asked God a question. What did I see? It was my own life I was seeing. I said, God, why is it that as man is growing old, because I am growing old, man begins to get dry. Man begins to get dry. And the Lord said to me, these are the reasons. Now that you know, prepare for it. And I shared with you free of charge. Number one, the Lord said to me, it is because as you are growing old, those things that used to give you joy begin to fade away. As you are growing old, those things that used to give you joy will no longer be giving you joy again. If you are a young man who likes playing football, it, uh, while you are young, you, and you just it's part of your fun of life. You play football, you play football. As you are getting old, will you play football again? No. Your life begins to dry. You like party. You like party. You grew up from when you were 20 years old, not seen now. You just like going out to parties. You, a young girl, young boy, you like party every weekend, we go Saturday night, Saturday night, Saturday night, Saturday night. You, you grew up. If you see an old woman in a party with your young guests, that's saying, hey, 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 what will you call that woman? 
<laughs> so you begin to see that this woman is having misery. Because what used to give her joy before, they are no longer, even though she would have loved to, age. The Lord said, that is one. And I said, hell, I'll not be lie. There are some things that used to give me joy before. Now, now they do them again. Now they feel them again. One of them was roaming around the whole state preaching, jumping up and down, broke in the let's go again. I said, okay. I said, two, all the people around him or her that were making him happy, many of them have died. Many have gone out to another destiny. Many are no longer around. So there is this isolation coming in. All your friends that used to make you happy in those days, where are they? All those that used to, that they, they, their presence used to give you joy. You are, you are fond of them. Where are they? And then, because of that, you see many of us now having new friends. Not knowing that we are entering into the den of python. Into the den of lion. And that is ending with dryness. And God said the last. When God opened my eyes and showed me the last, my heart started beating fast. I became afraid. Hey! He said the last, the second, third point. Why many of us, as we are growing old, we are no longer happy. I say because many of their friends that they were very close to, that they were very, very intimate with, today are enemies. Hey! Oh, no wonder. As a woman is growing, you see that those your friends who have turned enemy, they know you in and out. Today you are quarreling with them. There are some people now who are in your quarter, in your village quarter, your streets, your office. They are your enemies. But they were once your friends. How do you think life will be sweet with that environment? What is the way out? Wisdom. Now, you begin to prepare for your old age. Many old people are suffering. If we like, keep praying for long life. Keep praying for long life and prosperity. Go and see many old people in misery. Even when some of them have money, they don't know what to do with the money again. Tell me what a woman of 70 years old who is a millionaire will do with money. What we go to the Jago, amen. Tell me what we should do with money. Is it pancake? When you say a woman of 70 years or 80 years wearing the latest shoe in town, what will you call her? <laughs> when you say a woman of 72 wearing the latest earring, I got the one in the I got the one at the age of 79, you are wearing a earring of, of, of $2,000. For what now? Is that your priority? Or oh, one in EB for 75 years. At the age of 75, you don't know the value of $4,000. They are spying you. They are spying us. There are people that come near you. They are the reason for where you are today. You would have married. You would have haven't gotten children. You would have been settled. But they are studying us. And because they are studying us, they are dealing with us. It got to a point after Delilah studied Samson, she got the answer. She got the answer. And that was the end. They blocked the eyes away, cut the hair away. What does that mean? Many of us here, our hair may have been cut away. Hair stands for beauty, glory. So, but I pray for somebody hearing me. 
The resurrection power will bring back your hair. The resurrection power will bring back your glory. The resurrection power will bring back your blessings. In the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Very short prayer. We continue with the mass. And when it is time for the general prayer, we will light up our candles and we pray. I just have only three prayer points to make now. After that, we go on with the mass. Then after the mass, we have the prayers for today. Say after me. Oh Lord, oh Lord. give me the spirit to decode what the enemy has coded. Jesus, Jesus, give me the spirit to decode what the devil has coded around me. Amen. O Lord, o Lord, give me wisdom. Give me Jesus, Jesus, bless me with wisdom. Me with wisdom. Amen. Amen. Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, again, Holy Spirit, again, Holy Spirit, again, Holy Spirit. make me sensitive. To all, to all happening around me. Make me sensitive. Make me sensitive to all happening in my life. Happening in my body. Happening in my family. In my family. Amen. 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 Lift up your hands. Any man or woman, boy or girl, spiritual or physical, on a mission to spy you, to study you, in order to destroy you, they shall be put to shame. Anybody tracing your movement, study your movement, study your relationship, study what you do. I said they shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. All those who are carrying information concerning you to places where they are planning your downfall. If you can shout amen, fire will scatter their plan. Fire will scatter their plan. Fire will scatter their plan. In the name of Jesus. Please lift up your hands finally now. If there's anybody that is your friend or colleague, even as we are here now, or a friend to your brother, or a friend to your sister, or a friend to your son, or a friend to your daughter, that is studying your sister, studying your brother, studying your friend, in order to destroy you, to raise kidnappers, to bring arm robbers, to scatter your business, to set you up, to scatter your marriage, to pull you down. If you can shout amen, fire will scatter the plan. 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 They shall not succeed. They will never succeed. They will surely fail. They will surely fail. In the name of Jesus. And they came to Jesus. And they said to Jesus, Is it good for us to pay tax to Caesar? They were spies. They came to study him. They came to set him up. But Jesus Christ gave them the answer that pushed him into their head. When people come around you to ask you questions so that they will use it to harm somebody, may the answer you give them put fire in their body. May the answers we give them set them ablaze. Receive higher wisdom. Receive higher knowledge. 
receive sensitivity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And somebody will shout a loud amen. Let's continue with the sacrifice. We shall pray again. Come. History. I don't know why you are here. I don't know what you want God to do for you. As you stand on your feet, you lift up your hands. This is the hour of miracle when we sprinkle holy water to cast out sickness, to cast out evil, to cast out uke, failure. So lift up your hands. This is the faith of the Catholic Church. The presence of holy water in our spiritual warfare deals with the devil. No matter what you see in the modern Christianity of too many casting and binding, God has given us the solution in the Catholic Church even before we all were born. Our forefathers dealt with devil with holy water. Anybody that they sprinkle holy water, something evil in that person must bow down and go away. Because the holy water is a ready-made prayer. It's a ready-made prayer. That wherever this water is sprinkled, let it turn away every power of the enemy. So when God answered that prayer, anytime you use the holy water, it is working. That is why our mothers in those days, we have holy water in their rooms. Every night, they will sprinkle it. <clears throat> the reason why the devil is dealing with us today is that many of us are no longer working with the remedies of God. We overdo vigil. We keep binding and casting devil. When the devil just come back again and slap us. So now, lift up your hands. I don't know what followed you to this place. But you have come to meet a prophet. And as soon as this holy water touches you, whatever that is not of God that came here with you will disappear by fire. It will disappear by fire. It will disappear by fire. In the name of Jesus. As soon as this holy water touches you now, something will happen somewhere. They will know that you are in the presence of God. A calabash will be broken. A tree will fall. Water will burn in the waters. There shall be deliverance. There shall be healing. In the name of Jesus. Make sure your hands are up for divine connection. I pray for all of you hearing me. That as soon as this holy water touches you now. Whatever they have done that is affecting your blessings, business blessings, marital blessings, social blessings, spiritual blessings, that thing will catch fire and be destroyed. Many of us today have turned beggars because the devil has done something through some people and we cannot get what we are supposed to get. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. As this water touches you, may their powers be destroyed in Jesus' name. Hands up, eyes closed. Any man who have come to spy you, to harm you. Any girl who came into your life to spy you. Any woman that came to spy you. And they have gathered information to harm you. As soon as this holy water touches you, all the informations that they have gathered will be deleted. All the informations will disappear. In short, they will forget who you are. They will forget the road to your house. They will forget the door to your room. They will forget your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. I pray finally for your journey. May this water give you strength for the journey of life. You will reach where God said you will reach. You will not fall by the way. And this water touches you, supernatural strength will enter your life. Supernatural power will enter your life. 
you will not faint on the way. You will not be weak to conquer. You will move forward and conquer. You will rise and excel. You will move and celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus.
celebrate him come on celebrate him to the shame of the devil somebody make a joyful noise to the lord whether the devil likes it or not i will serve god <laughs> i'm telling you keep keep going with yourself oh you need to go to work keep keep your mind on work eh obafia e be a e be a now, it's time for us to stand on the wilderness in the land. He yields him not to the will of his foes. Verse 3. The Lord helps him when he gets sick and heals him of all his ailments. It is time for us to help the poor. The motherless babies in our ministry are growing. We are see them serving mass. We have to feed them. So those who are ready to do what you like doing, you come forward now. We thank all those who gave us Indomie biscuits last week and all those who are ready to help the poor to tap from this blessing I just read. It's time for you to come forward now for our charity offering. You come and receive your blessings. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me. is he or she who has regard for the poor. Behold your children who are now out to do their offering for the motherless babies and the psychiatric patients we have here to keep them going, feed them, take care of their medical bill, give them water, give them light, give them kerosene, buy food for them, and make sure that they are happy as fellow human beings. Lord, you say in your word, that the following blessings will be our portion. And I beg you, may these blessings rest upon these your children. May you deliver them in the time of troubles. May you protect them and preserve their lives. 
Grant them happiness in this world. Do not allow the plan of their enemies to come true. Lord, your word says that you will help them when they are sick. Please, I beg you, through this charity offering, heal those who are sick, deliver those who are in trouble, and may you raise men and women who will help them. May this offering you have dropped on this altar today grant you the power of resurrection. Through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the remoma neno wa. Oh, the remoma agama turugi mama no biacha. Angozi ki chinekenam orugo maka. Epa masirigi Be 
name of Jesus. Lift it up. This is your prayer. And this is why you are here. You believe in God. That is why you are here. And you have written your letter of prayer. God will surely accept it. And God will give you a reply in Jesus' name. Aqua ijiwede akokwa. No kukwe ijiwede. Bia bulu eke imbi a post to ena alta lumen christian. Ebe chukuti em kana alo alo. Okwe fuleta. Okwe fuleta ide li chuku. He will reply you. And he will reply you quickly. And the reply will give you joy. The reply will give you happiness. The reply will give you testimony. No power, no queen of Persia can stand against the reply. Oh, Father, hear our prayers. Look at your children. Accept these petitions. Let our prayers rise like incense. Let our prayers rise like incense. Let our prayers rise like incense. May we live to celebrate what you are doing now. And I know that there is nothing too hard for God to do. So no matter what you have requested, he will grant it. If it entails battle, he will fight for you. He will open the windows of heaven and shower blessings on you. And I join this petition to your own. As you post it now. That all the spies around your family shall be blindfolded. All the spies around our ministry shall be blindfolded. All the spies around your business shall be blindfolded. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Ajadin song. sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church since the moment of our life unfold O god according to your good pleasure receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are sick that having been anxious for them in their danger they, we may rejoice at their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. It is totally right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. To him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our most just spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs for eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Stand on your feet with faith as a warrior. Somebody who knows why he or she is here. You are not here to answer roll call. You are here to draw heaven down to earth for your good. Stretch your hands to this altar that is raised for you. The sacrifice we have offered is for you. So if there are people who have gone to anywhere to offer sacrifice against you, this one will swallow their own. Yeah. It, is not, it is not a matter of, of us just doing it. Kaina, Atua, Jackie, Gwena, Mandy, My faith, that is the secret of our DBS ministry. That I have offered this sacrifice now. All of you have come here. Something spiritual from heaven will come your way. Yeah. You may not know that it is because of this mass. 
You may not know the God of this prayer, but believe me, the person I am fighting and the person I am standing for, they know what is happening. As this incense is rising on this altar in the presence of Jesus, may all your foes, especially the spiritual powers that are holding you down, be destroyed. Any man or woman, boy or girl, who have been sent into your life to gather information that they may use it to harm you, they shall fail. Everybody call Jesus. 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 As we are in his presence, in his sanctuary, let us make some declarations that whatever that belongs to you that is supposed to be in your hands that the enemy has snatched from you, if you can say this, our father, very well, before you begin and end, the devil will release it because fire will strike that devil down. What do I mean? Your good heads. Your joy. Amen. Your happiness. Amen. Your holiness. Amen. Your prosperity. Amen. Your promotion. Amen. Your growth. Amen. Your advancement. Amen. All these things that God packaged for you that the devil cunningly took. Just this one, our father. Not two, one. This one, just one. We shake the foundation of darkness and we release our blessings for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. As he it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Who takes, who takes away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who, who takes, takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who, who takes, takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, our God, our Redeemer, our Healer, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer before Holy Communion, prayer for help. O oh God, help me to make a good call in love with you, Jesus. God, only support of our human weakness. Show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick. That sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. Through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. I'm your almighty God. Bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth. This Mass is ended. Let's give God a clap offering now. Those with a tight offering, come to the altar now. Those with